The craziest couples ever. What's going on guys, Shaq Reacts here once again, and the short shots some wall clips of the craziest couples I can find. Now, because my favorite clip will be at the end, guys, so make sure to stay tuned all the way till then to find it. But in this first one, it is absolutely insane, and I've actually never seen a wife do this to her husband before, especially for the reason she did it for. She apparently stole $22,000 from him and deposited inside her account, and said it was a safety net just in case anything went wrong with the marriage, and she was gonna get divorced. All I'm saying is, she is definitely preparing for a divorce, she's definitely cheating behind her husband's back, and I guess she just wants as much money from him as possible before things start actually going wrong. Bank statement in the mail uh, uh, with an account that I don't know nothing about. First of all, don't come in here yelling at me about no account. I have an account to make sure I'm good. That's why the account is there. Why are you taking money out of account while I don't know? You are my husband. I have to make sure I'm good. I'm not, if we uh, were to ever get divorced, I'm not about to be out here with nothing. We got to make sure we good. Yes, this don't no. got nothing to do with you sitting taking money out of account. That's what I work hard for. Do you not work for us? Are we not a family? You want, don't this is working for good. you, this ain't working for no, us. No, it is. I have to make sure I'm good. I'm a woman. If, I, if you were to leave me, I need to be okay. What is the problem? You need to be I'm sorry, but that is such a huge red flag. That would be my biggest cue to get a divorce with her as soon as possible. You can tell by that attitude she actually wants to get a divorce, but doesn't want to initiate it just yet until I guess she gets as much money as possible from him. She definitely already has a backup dude planned and definitely has everything else planned out, not just this. I'm serious, I'm not about to argue with you about no money. I'm about not no money? No, I'm not arguing It's just money, no money to you, right? $22,000 is just a little bit of money to you, huh? I gotta go and work for that money. But it's just a little bit to you, huh? Can you yeah. ask you a question? If I took $22,000 from you, that'd be okay? You my husband. Do what you need to do. But no, you wouldn't be taking Of course you saying that when you're not the person you working that 10, 12 hours at a time. Of course you're not gonna say that. Of course you cool with it. Key, you so mad about this money. What are you going to do about it? I'm not giving it up. What am I going to do about it? My nails ain't even done right now. What am I going to do about it? And this text me this woman over here who absolutely gets rejected. I guess she ends up trying to ask this guy if he wants to do anything with her. And let's just say, I guess he was a bit busy all week. That's right. If you were to ask him, hey, let's f you think they would do Hi, Joe. Hey, what's up? So, like, I don't know. I know I haven't seen you in a while, but, like, I've been thinking about you, and I'm like, I don't know. Can I come over? Like, you want to hook up? Uh, well, right now? I mean, whenever you have time. Mm, I don't know, because I'm kind of busy for this week, so I'll let you know, though. Would you be down, though? Uh, okay. And this next one, this is actually one of the saddest clips I have ever seen. Pretty much we have all these people over here mocking religion and I guess conforming it to where it fits the LGBT mindset in such a way, but creating their own little religion on the side. This is literally a cult in my opinion. And yes, they are disgracing every single religion by doing this. Confess our faith today in the words of the Sparkle Creed. The Sparkle Creed. I believe creed. in the non-binary God whose pronouns are plural. I believe in Jesus Christ, their child, who wore a fabulous tunic and had two dads and saw everyone as a sibling child of God. I believe in the rainbow spirit what? who shatters our image of one white light and refracts it into a rainbow of gorgeous diversity. I believe in the church of everyday saints. I believe in the calling to each of us that love is love is love. So, beloved, let us love. I believe, glorious God, help my unbelief. Amen. Everybody's first job should be a strip club so they know what sexual harassment really is. What? And this next one is absolutely ridiculous as well. This guy actually went pretty damn viral for what he did and allowed his wife to do with another man. I guess he ended up marrying a woman who does adult film stuff and let the guy on the left sleep with her and I guess commit acts with her the entire time and she was super excited about it. He's getting a bunch of attention and getting bashed for on social media for, I guess, letting his wife do such a thing. And to be honest, he is such a simp. Like, put your foot down. And this is what the guy on the left says about him. He kind of just ripped him a good one. It's not really a cup situation. It's more of like who people come in and make an understanding. Yeah. You know, so if you're cool with it, then, you know, it is what it is. Me personally, I don't know if I have enough in me to allow it, but everyone's different. Everyone have different levels of, how do I say, mental maturity. <laughs> and 
In this section, once again, we have more Sims on the list. Basically, this guy on the left doesn't see this as a red flag, even though this is such a huge red flag. I actually got a bunch of comments in other videos of people saying this is such an innocent thing. Everybody has their own personal celebrity crush they'd love to do things with. But in my opinion, this just shows that your person is willing to leave you and do things with another person if they have enough status and enough money for it. And if the situation doesn't even get worse by that, listen to this man's response. It's super embarrassing. Give you a guilt free pass to sleep with anybody in the world. Would you use it? She yes. Smash Drake. He know. He know who I'm smashing. Yeah, I'm gonna go smash Drake. Why Drake? Um, just because I think that he's sexy and I like his music. Yeah. Nothing more, nothing less. Nothing more, nothing less. He looks good and his music is fire. Like he's a he's an idol. Like he's an idol. I'm yeah. an idol too. He's somebody worth smashing. I'm an idol too. Okay. You okay. are. I you're make, you're I my idol. Music. All right, bet. All right, yeah. All right, we good. Yeah. What if she gave you a guilt free pass? If I had a guilt free pass, would I use it? He tr he's trying Maybe. to act like he don't have somebody in mind, but I feel like he does. If the guilt if the guilt free pass meant that I was about to get a million, I'd use it. But I'm not thirsty to go smash any other women. He gave you a guilt free pass to sleep with anybody. In this section, we have a woman over here who thinks that making 100k a year is just enough for living. I'm not sure where you're living. Maybe it's Hawaii. But if you're not living in Hawaii, you don't need to be making this much. Just have a basic, not nice life. Is there a, is there a number that stands out to you as like a decent salary? Like something that you would be like, okay, he needs to make this much money. I don't think there's a number in mind, um, especially for right now. But I would say if if he's not ever making more than let's say $100,000, then I would be a little bit worried about our- And this text, I absolutely love this clip so much. I do think a lot more people should be doing the same thing. I guess his girlfriend ends up getting exposed and this is to me cheating. I don't care what anybody else says. This is 100% cheating. If I saw my girlfriend writing this in someone else's comment section, I would definitely have a conversation with her about it. And this sex list was absolutely correct about what she is saying. She was actually getting bashed for it on social media by men who don't want to make enough money. But in my opinion, I think men should always be the providers and women should always be there to comfort their man in any way possible. How much money should a man make for you? Honestly, if he pay the rent, I'd take care of the home. You get me? Okay, so it's like half and half, equal. Yeah, I'm going to be really honest with you. Yeah. Everybody going to tell you some bullshit yeah. about, oh, no, men don't have to make nothing. Uh -huh. Fuck that. But men have to provide and women better, like, bring their men peace and and create a household for their men. Are in relationships and are ruining them because of what your homegirl said, not knowing that your homegirl don't want you having a better relationship than she got. In this text, we have this man over here. Everybody knows him. I, I guess he's going on to explain how women at a certain age, I guess over the age of like 35, are becoming leftover women because nobody else wants them. Is he harsh for saying leftover women? I don't think so. It's the same thing as a woman not wanting men who live in their mom's basement and are absolutely broke. 35 years old and you're unmarried. You are a leftover woman. A leftover woman. You are what is left. Men know that there's something likely wrong with you. Whether you want to hear it or not, I'm going to just go there with you. I'm telling you the truth that you don't want to hear. Men know that there's something likely wrong with you. 35, unmarried. Something wrong with you. In this next one, I'm not sure why this man is even answering the phone call. I guess his ex is calling him up, saying he's not allowed to follow anybody he wants. He's just trying to move on, as he should be, to be honest, and she's just getting super salty about it. Please leave me alone, bro. Why you lie? Please leave me alone. Why are you talking to other people? I'm not. You're not? No. So you ain't expose yourself on Instagram? No. I'm not playing with you, bro. Put it on your mother. I gotta go, okay? okay. I will go over there and I will break your setup myself. Okay. How you gonna get mad because I'm following other people when you follow other people too? That makes no sense. I said you follow people, I unfollowed you. That's it. So why are you following people that follow me? I follow somebody that follows you, okay? And what? Same way you follow somebody that I follow. Okay, cool. And this sex with this girl on the right absolutely embarrassed herself. I'm not sure who stalks their ex every day and especially their partners. That's just weird to me. You got to move on and stop doing that. Have you ever stalked an ex partner on social media after you broke up with them? Yeah. 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 What about their new partner as well? You're having a look at who they moved on to? Of course. Okay. <laughs> Come on, what kind of questions are that? Yes, of course. Every day. Yeah. <laughs> Dear men, if you want to make a woman powerless, take away your attention. 
a lot of women have become powerful by the kind of attention that men give to them. And this sexless man definitely humbled this woman who feels like she brings nothing to the table and still deserves a good man. What you bring to the table? Well, look, I don't know why you in this car. I ain't doing that. I promise <laughs> you. You not doing that? I promise you I ain't doing that. Now this sexless woman absolutely rose to this guy and took things a bit too far. She shouldn't have said this in any way possible. I don't know why she did. Maybe she thought she was funny, but nobody was laughing. Name the most unattractive feature about the person sitting across from you. Holy Damn! Oh, okay. I just don't like this. The sash. You don't like the sash? I don't. It's literally hanging over your lips, so then if someone... Okay. It, mm, but I'm a good I, kisser, so like, it makes up for it. I had a boyfriend who tried to do that, and... It, I threw up. I, I it literally made so me. So my face is no, making you wanna throw up. Ah! I'm sorry. And this sex man absolutely loved this clip. This man absolutely put his foot down towards this woman, and even the people in the crowd were getting a good laugh out of it. She was absolutely trying to play the victim in the situation. And the moment the tears started rolling down, you could already tell she was a guilty one. Really? Like, that? I want it work. I want a consistency. So the ring is supposed to just be the end or be all. The ring is supposed to be like, oh, she took the ring. I, I couldn't do it. She keeps saying this whole, I moved on, I moved on, I moved on. Like somebody gives a f my Do I look like woman is a problem? Like, you got a few things misconstrued. You moved on. Great. Today, so have I. If you I cannot even want to. be there I, with me the at my Joe, worst, I, I right. don't want you at I, my mother best, me, my But I would sit your mom here, and she knows that I was there. And she knows that I had to get up and go just so and you, you could be cry. who you are right I don't now. Go on guilt You're just a so, I, I cannot believe you. In this next one, this has to be some kind of joke. I'm not sure if this is real or not. It definitely looks real. I guess this guy on Fox is absolutely ripping women a good one for being horrible wives in the future. And to be honest, every single point he made was still facts. I can't cook, can't clean. They don't want to work nothing. N that's 31 and over. Get in relationships with them and wonder why shit ain't working. That's because all young bitches want to do is pop pills, smoke weed, get drunk, lay around, suck dick eat hot Cheetos, charge they phone, get a sew and weave, twerk, be bisexual, eat McDonald's, wash they pussy in the sink, lie, take selfies, and talk shit through Wi-Fi because they phone never- And this next one is girls trying to say she only does adult film stuff just for the money. The moment the cameras are cut off, she doesn't do anything else anymore. I guess give herself a good reason for why she does these things and it's only for money. And he tries giving herself an excuse that it's really just a profession and not things she really enjoys. Help me, suck me uh -huh. off uh -huh. while cameras are off. No. Are. No, I've, no, had, that's happening I've had talent you. tell me that. Yeah. That, yeah they, they set the record straight. For sure. Unless you they're feeling to. you, then they'll be like, all right, we can still do it. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, no, no. Okay, so you just strictly there for the business. Yeah. The camera's <laughs> off. I ain't touching you. That's just... mm. Even uh. if you're attracted to him? Yep. <laughs> I ain't there for love. I got you. <laughs> and this sex mom absolutely got a laugh out of this. I'm not sure why this woman decided to do this. Try to act like she's helping out the aftermath of a riot. The husband is an absolute simp for recording his wife trying to do this and take a picture for it. I, like, I don't get what the point is. All for clicks and likes. I, I don't get it. Thank you so much. What are you gonna have for lunch today? You. I'm not on the menu though. This is right here. Don't see your favorite, just ask. Girl, goodbye. <laughs> And this next one makes such a valid point. Basically, she is saying why nice guys always finish last. And to be honest, every single thing she was saying was correct. Even though it is a bit harsh, men just need to learn about it and get over with it. We do not sleep with somebody that we're not attracted to. We don't care if you're nice. A guy is sleeping on his mom's couch and he's got game. Mm -hmm. She won't friend zone him. But she'll friend zone a nice guy who does all the right things and she's not actually attracted to. She'll take your money, she'll take your time, and then she'll tell you goodbye. God, so make perfect. sure they're attracted to you Damn. before you spend money on them. He walks in and look at what she's doing with her ring. I feel like if roles were reversed, people would be losing it, but instead people are defending him. And if I were the risk of one list, guys, we have this man over here. I guess his wife's ex ends up coming to the wedding, trying to give her one last hug. This is an absolute red flag. First off, why the hell is the ex even there? Second, why are you letting this man hug your wife, bro? Come on, put your foot down. This is such a great way to start off a divorce in, in the, on your wedding. Men can't have simple boundaries anymore without being called insecure and I really do feel bad for this guy.
Well, that's what you guys so much for watching, guys. The next one, take care. Peace.